Hello and welcome to your 2018 preview of Tiffin University Lacrosse. We're joined by head coach Erica Brown. Coach, how are we doing? Good, how are you, Matt? Not too bad. You guys come, uh, you, you set the uh, your tie, I should say, the uh, wins record in a single season last season, once again with 12 victories. Um, didn't end the way you wanted it to, but uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward now to this season. You returned 17 players, I believe, from last year's roster. Uh, a lot of all GLIAC uh, individuals. Talk about uh, your returners as a whole. I think as a whole, they're very motivated by the, how the season ended last year. Um, really stepped up in the fall for us. Uh, we played some pretty competitive fall ball tournaments, um, and it was great to see them stepping up offensively, defensively, even in the midfield. Their leadership's been really good for us so far. Uh, we'll transition in and break it down uh, by units. Now we'll start defensively. Tiffany Anderson, Amy Morrison, and Kat Schneeberg are three that come to mind. First off, we'll talk about the, the, the midfielder and defender in Anderson and Morrison. Talk about how uh, their duty this year and to, uh, to be the leaders of this defensive squad. Um, well, I think with the loss of Randy Kastner on defense, um, I think that that voice is definitely um, – going to be heard within Tiffany. They've played in some really big games for us. They've been huge contributors for us. Um, and I think with nine new freshmen, um, a couple of them being defenders too, uh, their role was a lot bigger this year about kind of mixing them into the fold, um, kind of getting on board with how we're running our defensive units, um, our different defensive plays and stuff. And it's nice to have voices out there that they know what's expected of them. Talk about how uh, having an experienced goaltender, an all-GLIAC goaltender back there in net makes your life easier, and also it makes uh, the defense and offense's life a little bit easier as well. Um, well, Kat's been great. I think, you know, her maturity is definitely showing through. Having Kat back, you know, it's today's our third day of practice, um, but her voice back there and just, you know, she makes saves she's supposed to make, and she's making saves, you're just like, oh my gosh, how did that happen? Um, so it's nice that... Definitely a reliable goalkeeper, reliable voice back there as well. Um, but just even the clearing game, I mean, she just on a string getting that ball from A to B. Um, we'll transition to offense now. Amanda Flaron, L. McMillan, and L. Hamilton, three big names that uh, come to mind when I think of your team offensively. L. Hamilton uh, was really good her freshman year. She was one of the best, in the, or the best in the GLIAC. So talk about those three right there and how they uh, – They'll be the, some intricate parts of your offense. Um, I think Hammy L. Hamilton coming back um, a lot more confidence this year. Uh, she worked super hard. I mean, her six goals were great last year, a lot better this year. Just, you know, I think she understands that. Um, she takes a lot of pride in working hard on the field, up and down on both sides of the ball, in the you know draw circle too. Um, I think she's a huge player, but she is unselfish as well. On straight attack, having Amanda and El Mac, uh, it's great. You know they were high school teammates and they work super well together here at Tiffin. It's all seven on our attacking unit. Um, it's nice that we don't need to call plays and they can just kind of you know get those assists, get those goals, um, and they can think outside the box. We will now transition and talk about uh, the newcomers on the roster. Go ahead and talk about them as a whole. I'll give you the the, the floor to. I kind of give an overview of the whole unit. Um, well, there's nine new freshmen, nine new faces on the field. Um, so kind of from attack through the mid to defense to goalie. So we are replacing um, lots of different positions on the field. So um, Steve learning her for our freshmen, um, kind of coming in and playing at a super high competitive level. We'll talk um, about your schedule. Uh, you got a tough one this year. Probably the toughest one you've ever had as head coach here. You open up with three top 25 opponents, uh, Lindenwood, East Stroudsburg, and then Westchester. When you set the schedule up, was uh, the intention to be a bear in the beginning? Yes. Um, you know, we're going to finish, start strong and finish strong. Um, you know, with having Lindenwood, they've been in the Final Four, I want to say, the past six years. Um, East Strasburg was an NCAA qualifying team last year as well. And then Westchester, predominant top, you know, top 20 school. Um, but they're, you know, 2016, they were an NCAA qualifying team as well. Um, so we want, our, we want to challenge our schedule. We want to challenge ourselves. Um, you know, we did that last year pretty successful. 
we want to be the best, we have to play the best. Um, so we're going to challenge ourselves right off the bat. And then when we get home, you know, former GLIAC rival, future GMAC rival in um, Lake Erie and Finley. And then we open up with Grand Valley, first conference game of the year. So it's, I don't think there's any rest for the weary. Well, we'll talk about the GLIAC itself. Um, well, we have many fresh faces in the GLIAC this year with Concordia St. Paul, um, with Davenport as well. Uh, you know, we scrimmaged Davenport in the fall, super competitive game. Uh, you know, they were a former NAIA team, now Division II team, um, super competitive in NAIA. So it's going to be challenging for us to go against them. I think when we are on the road against Concordia St. Paul, I think our biggest challenge is going to be the travel. We have to go out to St. Paul. I mean, I've I've never been there. Uh, super excited to go to Minnesota. Not so much in March, um, but I think it'll be cool to kind of see um, the kids' reactions when we go out there. And it's also going to be nice that Lindsay Fox and Ashley Osbeck, who are from Minnesota, are going to have kind of a hometown game. And then, you know, obviously, Indy, McHenry, Grand Valley are going to be challenges as well. Well, Coach, we thank you for taking the time sitting down with us. We wish you the uh, best of luck this year and look forward to covering your uh, games throughout the year. Thanks, Matt. This has been your 2018 preview of Tiffin University of the Cross. For more information, visit GoTiffinDragons.com.